Good morning, fellow tourists. I'm your tour guide for Dude on Travel. And today, we're pointing our compass towards the fascinating city of Porto, Portugal. We're going to reveal the top 10 amazing things to do in Porto in 2024 in this action-packed journey. So come along with me as we explore the wonder that life's in Porto, regardless of whether you're an experienced tourist or a daydreamer preparing your next getaway. Let's get started. First up, a Douro River Cruise and the Ribeira District. The hub of Porto's historic district, the Ribeira District, is centered on the Douro River. You are taken back in time as soon as you enter its quaint lanes. The vibrant buildings with wrought iron balconies that define the district's architecture are a tribute to the city's illustrious past. Discover the riverfront promenade, where busy eateries provide the ideal setting for leisurely strolls. Interact with residents, take in street performers, and allow the dynamic atmosphere of Ribera to fully engulf you in Porto's vivacious spirit. Take a Douro River cruise to see Porto to the fullest. Sail away from Ribera and follow the pleasant currents of the Douro under the famous Dom Luis Thur Bridge. The trip offers a distinctive viewpoint of Porto's topography, exhibiting the city's historical sites, such as the vibrant Ribera district. The Douro River cruise transforms into a spectacular excursion as the sun sets, illuminating the city and allowing you to see how tradition and modernity coexist along the riverbanks. Number two, a book lover's paradise, Livraria Lello. Enter the magical world of Livraria Lello, which is regarded as one of the world's most exquisite bookshops. With its neo-gothic and art nouveau inspirations, the facade alone is a masterwork that draws people in at first glimpse. A captivating stained glass ceiling and fine timber accents create an exotic environment that unfolds before your eyes as soon as you go through the threshold. In addition to its stunning architecture, Livraria Lello has a long literary heritage. A wide range of volumes on the bookshelves encourage research, and the room is given a whimsical touch by the famous Red Staircase. When J.K. Rowling lived in Porto, this bookstore inspired her and there are subtle Harry Potter references throughout. Number three, the Church and Clarigos Tower. Take a trip up the famous Clarigos Tower to the center of Porto's skyline. Nicolau Nassoni's architectural wonder towers over the city as a representation of its identity. Every step you take up the spiral staircase will bring you closer to the breathtaking panoramic views of Porto. The Clarigos Church, a masterwork of Baroque architecture, is located next to the tower. For art lovers, the church's elaborate woodwork, gilded decorations, and elaborate design provide a visual feast. A really remarkable experience in the heart of Porto is guaranteed by the Clarigos Tower and Church, whether you're enthralled with the cityscape from above or engrossed in the artistic riches below. Number four, visit Rua Miguel Bombarda in Porto to see the street art there. Discover Porto's modern pulse by meandering down the lively Rua Miguel Bombarda. Every step you take on this lively street reveals a fresh work of eye-catching street art and contemporary exhibitions, serving as an outdoor gallery. The walls become alive with hues and facial emotions, transforming into a dynamic canvas that captures the forward-thinking artistic culture of Porto. Rua Miguel Bombarda is more than simply a street. It is a vibrant, living example of Porto's dedication to promoting innovation and embracing the exciting nexus where tradition and modernity collide. Take in the vivid tales depicted by the spray paint and brush strokes and use Rua Miguel Bombarda's enthusiasm to inspire a new and exciting chapter in your Porto journey. Number five, savor the culinary delights of Porto at Mercado do Bolhão. Take a culinary tour of Porto by spending time in the bustling Mercado do Bolhão. The aromas of fresh vegetables and the vibrant conversation of the residents provide a real Portuguese experience at this bustling market, which is a sensory feast. Stroll around the market and talk to the amiable sellers, showcasing a variety of seasonal produce, fruits, and local specialties. Mercado do Bolhão is a celebration of Porto's culinary tradition, as well as a place to buy. Wander through the vibrant alleys of the market and sample handmade cheeses, cured meats, and traditional Portuguese sweets. For food connoisseurs looking for an immersive taste of Porto's rich and diverse cuisine, the market is a must visit due to its vibrant atmosphere and wide range of culinary choices. 
in this gourmet paradise where each bite tells a tale of Portuguese heritage and culinary innovation. While exploring Porto, don't forget to join our traveling community. Click the subscribe button to follow us on our voyage. If you're fascinated by Porto's charms, share it with other travelers and leave a comment below. Your advice and observations will serve as our adventure's compass. Together, let's create a community of adventurers. Every discovery is made more lively by your participation when you subscribe, like, share, and comment. Number six, São Bento Railway Station's artistry unveiled. São Bento Railway Station, a historical marvel tucked away in the center of Porto and set out on a voyage through time. The station is more than just a transportation center. With its stunning azulejos, or traditional Portuguese tiles, it portrays the stories of Portugal's rich history like a living painting. At São Bento, the azulejos are more than ornaments. They constitute a visual history. These intricately painted tiles depict historical events, highlight cultural themes, and encapsulate the spirit of Portuguese culture. Stroll slowly along the station's platforms, taking in all the small features that open up like chapters in a fascinating tale. Every azulejo is a stroke in the vast mural of Porto's history, demonstrating the artistic ability and skillful narration of Portugal's cultural legacy. São Bento Railway Station transforms into a living museum as well as a transit hub, providing a special fusion of creative expression and practical purpose. Number seven, Vila Nova de Gaia, a wine connoisseur's haven. Experience the wine vaults of Vila Nova de Gaia and on a sensory journey that is a must do for anyone who enjoys Porto's renowned wines. Many old wine cellars that have withstood the test of time are set against the picturesque cityscape that is nestled on the banks of the Douro River. The trip ends with a tasting where you can enjoy the complex flavors of the award-winning port wine from Porto. This is an elixir of the gods. Let each sip carry you over the sun-kissed terraced vineyards and slopes covered in vines. Along with wine barrels, the cellars hold tales of love, devotion, and a mastery of craftsmanship that have for decades characterized Porto's winemaking excellence. Number eight, Foz do Douro's Coastal Serenity, the coastal sanctuary of Porto, where the city and the Atlantic Ocean merge in a calm and wave-filled dance. This neighborhood, tucked away along the shore, offers a nice diversion from Porto's busy cityscape. Enjoy the untamed beauty of Praia do Mole, or dip your toes into the smooth sands of Praia dos Ingleses. Foz do Douro offers the ideal coastal getaway, whether you're looking for sun-kissed leisure or a vigorous stroll along the shore. See the captivating dusk over the Atlantic as the sun sets. Foz do Douro is a must-visit location since it perfectly combines natural beauty with a sense of tranquility. Number nine, Casa de Musica's Harmony of Modernity. Discover the essence of Porto's cultural rebirth by visiting Casa de Musica, an impressive example of modern design and artistic expression. With its striking design and vibrant cultural activities, this contemporary marvel captivates onlookers and stands as a beacon of creativity. The facade of Casa de Musica, designed by the renowned architect Rem Koolhaas, is a combination of geometric shapes that subvert conventional concepts of structure. Explore the interior areas to discover a tasteful blend of cultural richness and modernism. Take in a live performance to get involved in the local cultural community, or just enjoy the atmosphere of this legendary location. A must-see location for Porto's cultural vultures, Casa da Musica welcomes you to observe the elegant fusion of architectural innovation and musical expression. Number 10, a tapestry of historical opulence, Palacio da Bolsa. As you approach the magnificent Palacio da Bolsa, a historical gem tucked away in the center of Porto, Get ready to be taken back in time. Once a thriving stock exchange, this lavish palace is a testimony to the city's rich history of commerce and architectural magnificence. The captivating Arab Room, a masterwork showcasing the best artistic flair and craftsmanship, is the highlight of your tour. The walls, ceilings, and columns are embellished with intricate decorations that weave a captivating tapestry of exotic and Moorish elements. The beautiful elegance of the chamber portrays the grandeur of the Porto bourgeoisie in the 19th century. Palacio da Bolsa promises to be a fascinating experience for anyone interested in architecture or history. If Porto's charm has left you enchanted, there's more to come. Subscribe for upcoming adventures, insider tips, 
and immersive experiences, hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment to keep the exploration alive. Until next time, happy travels with Dude on Travel.